In this tutorial we will be learning about the operation of purifiers, but our focus is on fuel oil. There are two fully automatic fuel oil separators in this system. Through the separator supply pumps, the oil is taken from the fuel oil storage tanks, fuel settling tanks and service tanks for discharge into settling tank and service tanks. This system is also capable for separating low sulfur system based on the new regulations of Annex 6. The separator's operation is based on the ALCAP principle, which means the separator automatically adjusts to the nature of the oil. No gravity disc is needed. Now let's begin with the operation of the separator, in this tutorial we will do the automatic starting of the separator. First, we make sure that all fuel lines are open. Let's start with the settling tank. Ensure that you drain any contaminants accumulated in the tank, such as water and settled sediments. Then we open the main suction line of the settling tank. This valve is part of the quick closing arrangement, so it is shut off during the event of fires. Now let's go back to the separator and open the inlet valve to the pump. Next we open the outlet of the feed pump. Then the fuel inlet and outlet valves to the steam heater. Now let's go to the valves of the steam heater, gradually open the inlet valves, to prevent water hammer. Then open the outlet valve, we will check on this later during the operation. Then we open the clean oil outlet valve to the service tank. Always remember, that this valve is not used to control the back pressure, of the separated fuel oil. Since there is a valve dedicated for that purpose. Let's prepare the opening and closing water arrangements of the purifier. Some purifiers have a day tank, where the pressure is at a calculated head pressure. But this typical installation is using a pressure regulator for its operation. Fully open the operating water manual valve. Then open the air supply shutoff valve. The air is being used to trigger operational system requirements of the pneumatic system. Also fully open the fuel recirculation valve, this valve recirculates the fuel during the idling and discharging operations of the separator. And finally, open the sludge outlet main valve to the separator sludge tank. We are now ready to operate the fuel oil separator, since all valve arrangements has been lined up and prepared. Before starting the separator, always check if the emergency stop has been activated. Also check the brake of the separator if it's engaged. If all necessary checks has been carried out, let's switch on the main power of the separator. And since we will not be locally starting the separator, switch the separator to automatic mode of operation. Check on the temperature controller and switch to automatic control of operation. Set the set point to at least 85 degrees Celsius or sometimes temperatures vary on the recommendations of the laboratory result. Then switch on the start button. At this point, the fuel feed pump will start. Then the separator motor shall automatically start and continuously accelerate till the required momentum and RPM has been reached. Always check for vibrations, leakages and abnormalities during the operation. Monitor the parameters related to the operating requirements of the separator. This includes pressures and temperatures. Once the system has been fully operational, adjust the back pressure using the manual control level to attain the required parameters. Now you can practice in the simulator and ensure the safe operations of the fuel oil purifier. 